Hi, Epic Recaps here, and today I am going to explain to you a 2008 action comedy titled, Get Smart. If you want to be spoiled, keep watching. The movie opens in Maxwell Smart, an analyst working at the top secret American intelligence agency known as Control, yearns to become a field agent like his idol, Agent 23. Despite scoring extremely well in the acceptance tests, Max is denied the promotion because the chief of control, thinks Max is too valuable in his present role. One day, Control Headquarters is attacked by the terrorist organization named Chaos. Almost all of the agent's identities are exposed, leaving only Agent 99 as a viable field operative. Max is promoted to field agent as Agent 86, but the experienced Agent 99 is reluctant to partner with him due to his inexperience. On the first day of his new job, he receives a Swiss Army knife, which includes special add-ons like a miniature flamethrower and a crossbow that shoots darts. The pair travel to Russia on a mission to determine how chaos has been getting nuclear weapons. While on the plane, Agent 99 spots a suspicious looking man in the back and she suspects he is an assassin, but Max brushes it off as profiling. Max notices gum on his shoe and tries to remove it with a matchstick. When passengers assume he is attempting to blow up the aircraft, Max is tackled by an air marshal and his hands are put into zip ties. Max requests to use the bathroom, and while inside, he attempts to break his zip ties using the crossbow on his pocket knife. He manages to break free, but one of the darts hits the eject button, and leaves him plummeting towards the earth with no parachute. Agent 99 follows with a parachute, as does the suspected assassin. Grabbing onto the agents, he is prevented from making all three crash when Agent 99 kisses him, surprising him enough for her to deploy the parachute. The assassin crashes into a barn, and Agent 99 and Max, assume he is dead. The two make their way to the mansion of Chaos Chief Bomb Maker, Ladislas Kerstich, who is holding a grand party. Max and his partner dress up in formal clothes and go undercover as guests. They're greeted by Kerstich who is charmed by Agent 99, and invites her to join him for a dance. Max is slightly jealous and finds a dance partner of his own. An intense dance-off begins between the two couples, and with Herculean effort, Max is crowned the winner. With the distraction out of the way, the pair get back to work, and infiltrate the main office. Hacking into a computer, they trace nuclear material to a Chaos nuclear weapons factory, disguised as a Moscow bakery. Before they can escape, Kerstich and his men arrive and a shootout is underway. The pair easily eliminate them, with Max delivering the fatal shot. Arriving at the bakery, the pair split up and Max finds a secret passage leading to the weapons factory. He makes his way through, only to find Chaos boss Siegfried and his right-hand man waiting for him. Informed that a double agent has compromised their identities, he is taken to an interrogation chamber and manages to take down his captors and alert Agent 99. Max plants an explosive, and the pair escape outside, but are attacked by the assassin they assumed was dead. All seems lost, but Smart recognizes the man as Dalip, who was in a recording taken during Max's time as an analyst. He gives Dalip advice on fixing his failing marriage, and Dalip promptly lets them go. The chief sends 23 to oversee cleanup of the bakery, but 23 reports that he has found no evidence of nuclear weapons, causing Control and Agent 99 to believe that Max is a double agent. Meanwhile, Chaos sneaks the weapons from the bakery out through the Mesqua River. Back at the hotel, Agent 99, who has gradually been developing feelings for Max, is confronted by him, and he accuses her of being the traitor. She hands him the phone which has been activated to release gas, and knocks him out. The pair arrive back in Washington, and Max is taken into custody and transported to control headquarters. During a meeting attended by head officials, Siegfried contacts them, and threatens to release nuclear weapon codes to hostile countries, unless he is paid a ransom of $200 billion. To prove his credibility, he informs them that he will release a nuclear bomb in Los Angeles, where the president is currently visiting. The members of the meeting do not take the call seriously, much to the chief's dismay. Back at control headquarters, Max is in a holding cell when Dalip sends him a coded message via a radio show, alerting him to Siegfried's plan. Max escapes the cell and steals several vintage memorabilia from the museum, and makes his way to LA. On a rooftop, Max reunites with Agent 99 and the team, and convinces them that he is not the double agent. Meanwhile, as the president arrives at the Disney Hall for a concert, Siegfried, Starker, and Dalip plant the bomb in the concert hall. When Max's spy watch picks up traces of radiation from Agent 23, 
they realize he is the real double agent. Out of options, 23 takes 99 hostage and flees in a vehicle, with Max and the chief following behind on a small aircraft. After an intense chase and battle, Max lands in the vehicle and wrestles 23 to the ground. Agent 99 accidentally lights the steering wheel on fire, and the car is forced onto railroad tracks. Max kisses Agent 23 to distract him, a trick learned from Agent 99. They are thrown off the vehicle before it collides with a freight train, killing Agent 23. The pair go after the nuclear case, and Max realizes that the bomb will be triggered by the final note of Beethoven's Ode to Joy. Rushing to the Disney Hall, Max tackles the elderly conductor just before the final note, saving the president in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, Siegfried, despite his plan failing, is in no rush to kill Dalip and insults his wife instead. In response, Dalip throws Siegfried into a river, much to Starker's delight. Back at control headquarters, a party is held in Max's honor, where Agent 99 gives him a puppy. Afterward, Max is given honors and finally gets his dream of becoming a real spy. The end. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. For more movie recaps, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. See you next time.